Welcome to a new cycle. We're going to jump into a brand new game. We're going to see exactly what this is like. It's currently in early access on Steam. And we have two choices at the moment. There are more coming soon. You've got Sanity and Old Ways coming soon. You've got Sandbox, which has all the components of city building and survival active, but the end game challenges are absent. And then you've got the campaign, which is what we're going to jump into for our first look at least. And it says it presents all the mechanics and the tribulations that can be experienced in the dynamic universe of New Cycle. And then we currently have three map types with another one coming soon. So you've got less settleable land, rich agricultural and water resources, rich forest resources. You've got tundra, which is little space for agriculture, scarce forest resources, harsh weather conditions. Then you've got step, which is scarce water sources, mild of moderation precipitation. And then you've got rich mineral deposits. I think we'll start in the meadow. I don't know why we're selecting a map type for a campaign, but we're going to select that difficulty is normal. You can change it. And wow, there's a lot of stuff you can change. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave it normal for now. I believe, oh wait, no, you can't. Oh, you can do custom. Yeah, you can change them all on their own. Okay, the first step, choose a location. You can use shift to uh, speed up your moving around. Okay, so you actually click on the thing on the right hand side and it says choose the most suitable spot to settle in the area. Guide us to set up our base camp. So let's begin. I say let's just place it here then because we're in range. I don't know what that glow is around those rocks, but we'll, we'll find out. You are now the governor of the community. It's been nearly half a century. Uh, the following years, blah, blah, blah. Next. Everyone was born into this new world. Oh, so you can here you can choose to go tutorial or no tutorial. We're going to take it because I've never played before. It's a brand new game. Living so long as nomads, we feel ready to build simple shacks at the least. We can get started by collecting whatever's around primitive structures made out of logs and stone will do for a start. So we need to build a field camp. We need to gather 20 logs and gather 10 stones. So I'm guessing that comes under resources. The grid system or the free system can be used to place the building on the map. You can switch between them by pressing tab. For the grid, R rotates the building by 90 degrees, but for free, uh, Q and E allow you to rotate the building continuously in different directions. In both, you can place more than one of the selected structure by holding down the shift key. So the field camp is going to organize workers to collect iron, stone and logs efficiently to meet the increasing need for raw materials. It costs 14 logs. We currently have 128. We've got a cap of 2,000. That's really generous. Let me place it here. Do I have to build roads? That's the uh, the question. We've got stockpiles, soup kitchens, lumber mills. There's a well, a gathering camp. Appoints hunters and gatherers to collect mushroom, fish, meat to sustain the supply chain. Wait, so they go out fishing? They have a radius too. If I just place that here... Oh wait, we have different layers and stuff. You've got the water, the wind, a mining layer. Look, you've got fertility. It shows you like all oh, this area is green for fertility. That's really, really interesting. But if I put two of each... The workforce has gone up to 67. Available resource... Oh, it actually tells you on this menu how much of each resource is available. So we're going to get nearly, like, just over 4,000 stone from this building. And it's got this, that's really, really good. And we don't need to place road or anything like that. They just, look, you can see the little dudes just running around doing their own thing. So the lumber mill under production allows simple woodworking via chopping and sawing logs, primitive structure for the production of lumber and paper. So we have 103. We're obviously going to have to build this. Oh, here we go. We can create flexible... Oh, yeah. Build a lumber mill. Produce 30 lumber. We're currently doing that now. Select resource to start production. So I want to make lumber. And then I want two people working in there. Not connected to road network. And you lose workforce. We're making one a day at the moment. We need to make 30. Uh, the more our settlement grows, the more attention we'll get from passers-by, the more people will be willing to join us. Uh, they await permission to join our ranks. Yeah, we'll take them. We get two workers. 
I don't, I don't know what's going to happen if we reject, but we will accept them. See, but now we're overpopulated. And under residence... Oh, you have shacks. Development required living standards. And it consumes electric. Build a road between the lumber mill and the main hall. I've already done it. I was trying to read about the... Uh, the some of the factors that affect the efficiency of the output. So the base is 100. Well, is that going to work? The way... Uh, you know what? We'll make a long road down there. Are you serious? That doesn't count. Oh, wait. Hold up. Yes, it does. Step four complete. We've got a little wagon going. Build a well. Produce 60 water. So I've already advanced uh, through the game too far too quick. And look at our water. We're capped at 5,000. Our consumption's much lower than our production. But that should be... Yeah, we've done it. It says to build a well. I've already done it. Wait, we've got a notification to say our storage is almost full. Are we capped across all resources combined as well? And not only that, I've just seen in the well menu, you can upgrade the building to the next tier. But what am I supposed... It's telling me I've got to build a well now. I mean, it gives us an opportunity to see what happens when you demolish a building. Full storage. We're capped at 3,000 across the board. So you get three logs and 16 stone. And how much did it cost? Five and 32. So it's about 50% that you get. Let's build that there. And then what can we do with roads? See, and because I've built a new well, it's saying that there's no road system. So I'm going to have to... Does that sort the problem? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I've skipped too far ahead in the tutorial for a lot of stuff. So what I've done for the time being is I've paused the well. That's not going to produce any more. And that way, we should be able to get the production of mushrooms from 12 up to 40. Oh, we've got a development re overview report. I didn't even notice this left-hand side. So we've got establishment. Uh, we can do basic construction and living standards. Even if crowded, people will need a safe and permanent place of shelter warmth. It's one of the most basic rights. It unlocks the ability to place a shack. But this gives us the stockpile, simple meals, and a soup kitchen. Required knowledge and time, 50 knowledge, 24 hours. It costs 24, is that lumber? So do we, we have to be in-game for it to research? Oh, yeah, that's like... It's, it's done eight hours already. So it'll be based on this. We're on day 51. <laughs> we've we've done so much already. We're like halfway through the summer in year two. Development done. There we go. But now I can go back into this and we can go living standards. Oh, that's expensive. So does that mean we need all of the previous research to be done? It does say targeted cycle to be achieved. So now we need to build a soup kitchen, which comes under production. And uh, now we have to select the resource. So we'll go with the... Uh, oh, look at that. Fried meat, veg stew, poached fish, or six mushrooms and two water. You get eight lots every three hours. Uh, and then we'll get a worker in there producing seven per day. And you can change the needs of your workers. So I put them from low to medium distribution. Which I'm hoping changes that. Because low distribution increases the chance of sickness. I don't want my people becoming sick. And there we go. Tutorial step 6 complete. We are providing simple meals for people. So what's next? Explore population management. Okay, so... That is in here... Yeah, these are the classes, worker, craftsman, specialists. So we need to set the ration distribution to regular and distribute rations successfully for two days. Oh, I put it on medium. 123. Okay, the things have gone. So there's a lower chance of sickness. But 123 water per day. So this is the last step. It should be our priority to find a solution to our current conditions. Examine the factors affecting public health. And take decisive action. 
There are many factors that affect people's health. Nutrition and water are the most important of these. Uh, no one can withstand more than three days without water. You need to produce solutions against many variables such as the seasons, heavy work conditions, epidemics, insufficient uh, supply, and harmful external effects. Uh, in time, you may be able to produce higher grade goods like clothes, drinks, and paper. Before then, you have to train craftsmen to take part in these production projects. You can start training your people by researching and building a technical boot camp. Oh, here we go, cycle two. We've reached it. Buildings and resources that are available with the new era. We've got windmills, smiths, forges, taverns, meat, fish, leather, iron ingots, basic tools, and iron ore. What's the point of increasing food shares if some of us don't even get a bite? We don't have enough food to meet the ration distribution you've set for the population. Giving us false hope won't benefit anyone. We're waiting on you to set things straight. I mean, I can just put extra people working in there. I'll reassess the situation. Stop your fucking moaning. There we go. The workforce is at 100. Produce more food. Our unstable living standards are about to consume us. We should strive to keep a close eye on the people's morale. If we don't maintain balance, uh, we can do nothing but watch. Do something to improve morale within a few days. Um, Increase worker class morale above 40. Let me slow down the game a little bit. Oh, it's weird having it on the normal speed now. And we run out of food. Why are they not... Oh, we don't have enough mushrooms. Are they joking? Mushrooms are not available. Oh, we need to be overstocked. So, I've started the research on the living standards in order to build a shack uh, that can contain up to 10 people so that we can house everyone and hopefully that boosts morale. But what we are going to do, I don't want to get too far into this like campaign progress, like, at least within the first video. If you guys enjoy it, we'll come back. I'm having a lot of fun with this one at the very beginning. I like the different seasons that are available, the different production chains and exactly how you unlock them, the development tree is cool. But what we are going to do is leave our first look there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about New Cycle in the comments. I will see you guys on the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.